Modesty is something that is not teachers and men and women are taught to be mindful of the way in which they draw attention to themselves bored. They look upon others however Islam actually promotes certain practices that can make a person become more attractive. And they all line up with the teachings of modesty. Hey guys welcome back to 4 door. And in this episode is probably going to be a little bit different than what you may have thought. We are looking at 10 surprising and interesting ways that somebody can actually look more attractive. According to Islam. Starting at number 10, we have absolution. Now all Muslims would know the meaning of absolution, but for those of you who don't, what is a cleansing practice or washing of oneself in Islam before performing certain worship acts? So this helps to wash away any dirt from this phase, as well as other parts of the body. Now, number 9, Surprisingly Prayer. Prayer is an obligation for Muslims because it is one of the five pillars of the religion. There are many benefits of prayer, like keeping the mind away from wanting to commit evil deeds, among many other things. Some people say that is good to keep the body active. It's good physical exercise. And, uh, according to Islam, prayer can actually. Also, did he know that removing envy and jealousy can make you look more attractive? Jealousy and envy in Islam are considered to be big sins because they can erase all of the good deeds that a person has. Defended are two emotions that can actually change your physical appearance and affect your body. If you hold on to them, those who like to be jealous and envious, their faces will get wrinkled and lose its natural color. Over time. Number 7 brings us to smiling people who like to smile a lot rather than to having sad and miserable looking faces all the time while they're seen as brighter and more attractive people in general, when people interact with them, nobody likes to just continuously stare at someone with a sour face right now, as the saying goes. The best makeup is a smile. Well, actually, I don't know if that's an official saying, but I've heard it before. And science also shows that we are just more naturally drawn to people who smile more often. Anger can also make our faces look unnaturally pale and unpleasant. Of course, everyone gets angry because it's a natural emotion. It's natural for us to be angry about certain things that happen. But as long as it does not go to extremes, according to Islam. So although you can't necessarily get rid of anger, you can't stop the emotion. Really. It is advised to reduce anger as much as possible because it's believed that it can actually make, as I look older faster, when we're angry, we frown, which will leave our faces wrinkled quicker. When we're angry, the stress will increase the cortisol hormone in our body. And when the cortisol hormone amount increases while at the same time, what happens is that there's a decrease in collagen, which is a very vital and important to our skin's elasticity, which helps it remain more youthful. Number 5, we have olive oil collins are known for their benefits, not just within our bodies, but also on our bodies. And it's also a fact that people use all live in beauty treatments, going as far back to ancient Rome, according to dermatologists, there are many vitamins inside of all the oils. You'll find fats, vitamin E, vitamin K and zinc. So of course using all lives on our skin is very beneficial. Overall, forgiving others is another important thing to look more attractive. Islam mentions that forgiveness is a noble deed and based on research by forgiving people, it can actually reduce stress. Forgiveness can make way for improved health and peace of mind and forgiveness can lead to things like improved mental health, lower blood pressure, fewer symptoms of depression out stronger immune system is another benefit and also improved self-esteem. That one is really important. Those who have higher self-esteem also are viewed as more attractive by other people. So Islam does encourage forgiveness, not only because it will increase your attractiveness, but also because it's just a beneficial thing to do in general. Number 3, of course we have to mention fasting. Alright. 
so there are many advantages for fasting, according to Islam and science as well, but some of the benefits are it helps clean out your digestive system. It decreases cholesterol and reduces calories in the body and decreasing cholesterol can be good for your skin's health because the location of fat is right under the skin. And faxing is a compulsory practice in Islam, especially during the month of Ramadan. So of course it is highly encouraged because it is something that Muslims must do. But also there are benefits that follow now. Number 2, in this episode, leads us to eating healthy foods. As we know the foods that we eat will be digested and transformed into energy and be used as nourishment for our body. And if we eat a lot of healthy and nutritious foods, it can affect our health, both of our body in general and our skin. And there are certain benefits like it helps reduce acne and reduce dark spots and things like that. And there is another thing that goes like this. You are what you eat. And now I know that one is an official saying for sure, a hundred percent. And we end this episode off with number one, natural mask treatments. In order to beautify the faces law allows Muslims to have mask treatments or other beauty treatments, as long as they are allowed. Now we're not going to go into what, how loud it is in this episode. We do have videos here on FTD facts that go into more detail about that. But what I will say is that there are many natural ingredients that can be used to make the skin look more vibrant and healthy. You can use ingredients like avocados, papayas, and all live. Like I mentioned earlier, and well, as many other healthy ingredients, Islam teaches that in order to beautify your skin and face, there is no need to actually change what was naturally given to a person by God. Also Islam teaches that beautiful women in Islam are not merely judged by their physical appearance, or shouldn't be judged at least for their physical appearance, but also by what is in their heart. And the same goes for men also. So that wraps up this episode, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this. I want to hear your thoughts and comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, you found it useful entertaining, educational leave a like before you head on out of here. And don't forget to check out our YouTube channel. Subscribing, if you haven't done so already and ring that bell to be notified when new videos are posted and hopefully I'll catch all of you guys in the next, okay.